I'm Steve for This Week With Cars, and this is my friend Randy, and we have been selected to compete in this year's Land Rover Defender Trophy Challenge. So we just got this in the mail. This is our team flag. Inside here should be a blank flag that we need to decorate. Uh, I haven't even opened this up. Uh, Randy, you want to tear that open? Here you go. Instructions. Okay, so we have a blank white flag. This this is a lot bigger than I expected it to be. So we need to think up a team flag, also a team name. We don't have that yet. We'll uh, start decorating this and be back with you. We've decided on our team name, which is going to be Huey, which is celebrating the oldest Land Rover in the world. We've also incorporated the welcome sign for Iowa because we are all from Iowa. So we're planning on putting this onto our flag with vinyl. I've got the colors picked out. Now I need to cut it out with my vinyl cutter. It's gonna be difficult to make the little Land Rover because that's multiple colors that I'll have to layer on top of each other. So, this is probably going to take me all day. I better get started. What I'm doing right now is called weeding. And that is knocking all the little pieces of vinyl that I don't want out. And I'm having to do this with every single color that I want to use. And then after this, the hard part is going to get it, all these colors to line up correctly on top of each other. Because to make the image, they have to be overlaying onto each other. So I think this is going to take me about a whole day to make this flag. Okay, here's the three colors that make up the Land Rover. Now I need to put some transfer paper over them and stack them on top of each other. Now I have the big piece masked. I have the flag taped to the floor over there. This is probably one of the hardest things I've ever tried to vinyl. Finally done. Here's how it came out. You can't see the headlights on the Land Rover as well as I hoped you could. Now off to Vermont. Okay, we made it to Vermont, and tonight we start our orientation. We have a dinner. They have team photos. Um, they're going to teach us everything that we need to know about these new Trophy Land Rovers. I think they're even going to go over a little bit of the winching skills so that tomorrow, once the challenge starts, we can just hit the ground running. What do you think, Randy? Oh, this is awesome. Incredible. Quite a vehicle there. After making it through registration, we made our way to the Equinox Pond Pavilion. Right now we're doing team photos. We're also unveiling our flags for everyone. Land Rover had a nice dinner set up for us there, and we got to meet some of our competitors, including Ant and Steed from Wheeler Dealers, who himself owns a Land Rover Defender as his daily driver. I'm a current daily driver is a, uh, a 110 Defender, um, so I'm genuinely a car guy, I do this as a living, um, and uh, I'm really, really happy to be here, and I asked my friend over from South Africa. Oh, uh, yeah, I got invited three days ago, and I absolutely nothing about cars. I'm renowned with your hands to to win this competition. He's, I need it for my YouTube thumbnail and the time. <laughs> <laughs> so, the and yeah, I hope we win. That's all an answer. If you get a chance, uh, Dan makes, uh, Dan's an award-winning uh, movie maker, so if you get a chance. If you don't know who Dan Mace is, not only is he a great filmmaker, but he is also a pretty big-time YouTuber. Go check him out at Dan Mace on YouTube. After the team introductions, they told us how the challenge was going to work and what we might expect. 
And then they had available a couple brand new defenders with winches and high lift jacks that we could familiarize ourselves with and ask any questions about the functionality of the brand new defender. Once you finish at that location, you can then go to any of the other locations. That strategy is up to you. Before the challenge had even started, I think everyone was looking to the team of NHL hockey player Brooks Leish and Olympic skier and adventure skier Chris Davenport. The two of them were definitely in shape and we knew that they were going to be competitors. All right, you're here. Yeah. Let's get boring. Looking for some knowledge. <laughs> All right, you are at some point tomorrow going to find yourself at a spot that is requiring yeah. Yeah. a winch. You do have one. It looks a lot like this. Wow. Those of you that have used a winch, it's really different than what you're used to. Those of you that are not, you won't know the difference. So the next day it was finally time to start the Land Rover Defender Trophy Challenge. Gorman and I run the off-road stuff for Land Rover here in North America and uh, your exciting day today uh, it comes out of my mind so if you if you love it tell me if you hate it uh, you can talk, tell everybody else. Next, we made our way out to where they had all of the trucks lined up, but little did we know that it would be quite a while before we were given the keys to our own truck. These guys have an unfair advantage. They have to haul around these sound and video guys and, and mic up so they can talk to each other. It's like a ta tactical team over there. That's trophy. He's got a some kind of a secret weapon dog. <laughs> yeah, get they came to play. Yeah. Yeah. I said, my three what three words and how that works? Now, the key to what three words is to actually spell the word correctly. I know it's shocking. After we were given our maps, we then Dakota. headed off racing towards Mount Equinox. There, we would then navigate through different checkpoints, solving riddles to figure out where on the mountain we needed to go next. So, we don't have our keys for the Land Rovers. So we are all hiking, trying to figure out where they are. The riddles that we were supposed to solve to let us know where we needed to go on the mountain next were actually pretty easy. But Ant Anstead was there and he was either playing games with us or he truly didn't know what he was talking about. So I bet about. you it's Snicket or this one because we're here and it's not this one. It's not Red Road Trail, whatever he said, but you might see this in the distance. So it's. So it's got to be Snicket. I, I bet you right, it's a yellow. Seminary Avenue. So Friar Tuck is a church, right? Yes. So it's going to be around here, right? You'd think. It must be, yeah. Nancy. With the possible exception of Ant, everyone was working together as if we have all been friends for a long time. Okay, we just got our second clue at Robin's Lookout. Trying to find the next checkpoint and find the keys to our truck. Look at how gorgeous it is here. Little did we know that this was actually a physical challenge that was supposed to wear us out to make the next part of the challenge of getting our keys even more difficult. All of the Land Rover keys were located out there on that floating platform. And one of the team members had to run across the lake and go get them. Okay. Nice job. You can do it. You can do it. Quick feet. Quick, 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 quick. You know what? At this point. <laughs> you know what, Joe? <laughs> you got this, you got this. <laughs> Finally have our keys. I had to run across a bunch of pads out into the pond to get the keys. Wasn't a lot of fun. My shoes are soaking wet now, but at least we get a car for the rest of the day. Oh, we're back at the truck. Even has our names on the side. How cool is that? 
we've been directed to go to the off-road course first and looks like we're almost here enter amazing little land rover camera car there just only use manpower to move the vehicle and you cannot push the vehicle Welcome. Uh, howdy. What team are you? One. Team one. I was filming all of this myself, so I didn't get all of the events on camera. But our first event, we had to use block and tackles to pull the Land Rover. Our second event, shown here, we had to navigate an off-road trail uh, while avoiding all obstacles. And if we were to hit anything, we would have to stop and lose a good amount of seconds. Driver, driver, driver. You're straight. You can come this way more. You're good. Passenger. The wood is located. 150 feet away on a 70 degree compass pair. You guys bring your compass? Mm -hmm. For the next challenge, we had to take a compass bearing and go a certain number of paces to find the correct wood pile to build a little bridge out of two by sixes that we would then drive the Land Rover over. And the boards were not long enough to do the entire track and then reposition the boards so that we could get across the entire area. Get him to go a touch to the driver's side. Just a little, just a hair. There you go. One more. Keep coming. There you go. Okay. Keep coming. Keep coming. Okay, now you can move that wood from the back to the front. Move it that way. There you go. There you go. Okay, wood goes back where you found it. Perfect. Good. For this obstacle, we have to hit those pendulums on a target that's up in the corner of the truck right there. Right now we're just building a little bit so that I can get the truck up further. How's your day going? That's awesome. Still now, right? Oh. Now. What do you got for us? Little high lift jack action. Let me get my stopwatch up. MT number one, excellent. So it's called the high lift jack. We're gonna use the high lift jack as a winch. We're gonna try to get this vehicle to this line in under 12 minutes if you get to 12 minutes i'll just take a tape measure at that point and see where you got to um you're gonna hook this chain to the back of that yeah. toe ring makes sense yeah. questions comments excellent we are going to start now hook it up i'll get the car in neutral the high lift jack winch was probably the team's most dreaded challenge However, Randy and I have both done winching with high lift jacks before, and we knew exactly what we should be doing. Now you're just gonna feel that it get real loose a couple times when you roll over a couple rocks. Don't worry about it. If you wanna try to get creative, you can. The part of this challenge that I was not prepared for is just how far we had to move the Land Rover using just the high lift jack. Normally in actual world situations you probably would have recovered yourself far before you have moved the vehicle this far. So this was a very intense workout. Nice. Just be aware I'm going to back up about a foot guys. Okay. Well done. You unhook that from my from your bumper and you're good to go. Thank you. No awesome, problem. awesome. Great job. Nice watching you work. You guys communicated real well. Did a nice job Thank and you. no leaks. I like it. To the right and you'll find your seventh task. Okay. Our next task we had to each drive an off-road course and try to get as close to the same amount of time over the course as possible. However, they had taken away all timing equipment from us. 
After completing all of the off-road challenges, we drove back into town. Now we're doing the time speed distance challenge. So they've given us a map here. So they've given us directions. We have a certain time to meet and a certain number of miles. So a 0.6 miles on the odometer there, which they are going to read when we get back. After the rally, we went back to another location for more challenges. Okay, at uh, this one, right now, Randy is memorizing a map and he's going to give me directions through this course but he will be have he will have the map taken away from him and he'll have to tell me how to navigate it one of the hardest challenges of the whole day was the trailer challenge they stuck pool noodles coming out from the trailer and made you drive a course that was not as wide as the trailer Unfortunately, I wasn't able to film all of the challenges, so you'll have to check out other people's videos from the event. This was definitely way more physically challenging than I thought it would be. But if you ever get a chance to do this, definitely sign up and do it. Whenever you go through something that is challenging in your life, you tend to make friends with those people that went through it with you, and this event was no different. All right, so a uh, couple, I mean, some, actually, to be fair, like today, today there were some really, really good scores, uh, but I always like to, to come up with some interesting awards. So is that, is that you guys? Okay. Okay, so team number three, if I were to make an award for you. <laughs> <laughs> It would either be called the roughest ride, or it would be called the dealership parts department fabulous <laughs> customer award. <laughs> and, and, and the reason being is that on this time machine task that we were talking about, uh, everybody pretty much drove it today. It's one of the roughest, like rockiest, bounciest things in the world. Okay, so their their time was a minute forty eight seconds. <laughs> Which means that you, it had to have been painful. Air suspension. Yeah. Just must embarrass. Well, come on up because we got a couple little things for the next award. Next award here. Everybody's gonna think I'm just giving awards in my table. Team 12. He's got one guy's texting. Team 12. That's you guys, right? So the, 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 pulley, the pulleys today, right? The pulleys, everybody understood you were supposed to put a rope through the pulleys? Oh, no. You, you, know, you know, you do the pulley thing. Well, it turns out when you bring a, an ex-professional hockey player and a, and a professional skier, what they actually do is just grab the rope and pull the car. <laughs> so you guys get an award for, you know, I don't know, just blunt force trauma. <laughs> Keep it simple, right? Honestly, you know what happened there is I looked at all those things on the ground. I was like, that's too complicated. Let's just yank it. That's literally the entire thought process. All right, uh, next one I got was uh, squared up. That's the one we talked about, the memorization one. <laughs> Who's team number one? Evidently, you have excellent memories because you get it perfectly. Wow. wow. So, the winners are who the winners are now this is a little different night obviously because we we have sort of two groups we have sort of media and pr folks here and then we have the other you know customers guests you know our land rover people <laughs> yeah! i had a lot of fun at the land rover defender trophy and I found out that it's not all about driving ability or your orientation skills. It also has to do with how physically fit you are. There's definitely a big advantage to the athletes because they were able to get in line first and weren't being held up by anyone else doing challenges in front of them. This will definitely not be the last Land Rover off-road videos you'll see from me. In fact, I just went off-roading in one of my discoveries just yesterday. So if you want to see more videos like this, comment below and click subscribe.